Welcome to the first episode of The Ratcast, where I talk about the deeper meaning of books and movies. My name is Gavin Baker, and I'm a freshman at Georgia Tech. I'm currently in my bedroom at my house next to my drum set. Since freshmen at Georgia Tech are called rats, this is the inspiration for the title of the podcast. I created this podcast because I love to listen to podcasts. They work perfectly for my busy life. My favorite podcasts are Car Talk and Hello Internet. Both involve two guys casually talking about recent events and joking around. I decided to replicate the style, as you will see. Or, in this case, here. Also, podcasts are a metafictional medium that create the illusion of having a conversation. It seems I'm talking directly to you, dear listener, but I'm reading notes on a laptop into a microphone. And this leads in today's film, Inception. But first, a puzzle from the website Solve or Die. Near the end of the episode, the answer will be revealed. You are a prisoner sentenced to death. The Emperor allows you one chance to live by playing a simple game. He gives you 50 black marbles, 50 white marbles, and two empty bowls. He then says, divide these 100 marbles into two bowls. You can divide them in any way you like as long as you use all the marbles. Then I will blindfold you and mix the bowls around. You then can choose one bowl and remove one marble. If the marble is white, you will live. But if the marble is black, you will die. How do you divide the marbles so you have the greatest possibility of choosing a white marble? So, Christopher Nolan's Inception is a metafictional film where Inceptors can extract or implant ideas in people's minds. These Inceptors use sleep-inducing drugs to make their target dream. The Inceptors can then create realistic scenarios to trick the targets and easily infiltrate their dreams. The story follows Cobb, Inception agent who tragically loses his wife and is blamed for the crime. He is forced to abandon his children. He is tasked by a businessman named Sato to incept a rival named Fisher in order to see his children once again. After watching Inception twice, the movie planted the idea in my mind that Although life is fictional, you should accept your reality. No one knows objectively what life is like, so there's not one concrete reality. Besides, the happiest people are the most ignorant and carefree. Humans do not have the knowledge or power to search for reality, to see if it truly exists. It is like pondering what happens after you die. So try to make the most of your life and believe that your life matters. Inception argues that life is fictional by being a fictional film. The reality of the characters is clearly fabricated for entertainment to the audience. However, the characters think they can escape fictitious dreams and live in reality. And if this is true, then our reality might be created by all-powerful beings as well. Although clearly a science fictional film, watching Inception as a metafictional film emphasizes this uncertainty of reality. The film utilizes the metafictional method of blurring the lines of fiction and reality. Characters in the film, like Fisher, do not know they're in a dream. Fisher realizes he's in a dream only when he's specifically told. The Inceptors use personal items called totems 
to distinguish the dream world and reality. We, in this reality, do not have any indications that the world is fictitious or real. We are ultimately uncertain. Despite this, the film argues that we should make the most out of our lives instead of worrying. And I agree. For instance, Cobb's life falls apart when he tries to escape what is clearly a dream with his wife. Knowing life was a dream tortured him and led him to take drastic measures. Cobb transfers this worry into his wife in order to escape. Although successful, it was at a great price. She becomes mad believing that this new reality was fake as well and commits suicide. She frames Cobb for a murder for not joining her. Cobb loses his wife and, because of the murder, his children when he escapes the dream world. Knowing the truth destroys Cobb's life internally and externally. The film portrays this message of living your life to the fullest regardless of the truth. There are many examples of people living their best life in the film. While trying to get the potent sleep-inducing drugs, the dealer shows Cobb's crew hundreds of people who spend their lives in the dream world. These people seem crazy and disgusting with tubes connected to their whole body in a damp, dark basement. However, they can be anyone in their dreams and do anything. It seems possible to even convince yourself that the dream is real. Wouldn't you like that? I mean, if my life was terrible, I would happily live in a lie like bystanders in the Matrix, then face a crappy reality. Thankfully, Cobb learns from his experience and his crew. He finally sees his children stress-free and rushes to play with them. He becomes overjoyed at the end and does not care if this is reality or not. Proving ignorance is bliss. Cobb spins the top to see if it's still a dream, but he never checks. He accepted this reality and moved on. So, have you figured out the puzzle yet? You can rewind if you want to hear the puzzle again. The solution's simple. Even I figured it out. Place one white marble in the bowl and place the rest of the marbles in another bowl. That way, you begin with a 50-50 chance of choosing a bowl with just one white marble, and therefore live. Even if you choose the other bowl, you still have around a 50% chance of picking one of the 49 remaining white marbles. It increases your chance to around 75%. Tell me if you got it right in the comments below. As a closing remark, there is not one reality. Everyone has different ideas of what is real and what is not. It only matters what you believe in. Reality is based on your own perspective. It's difficult to truly look at anything objectively because of your experiences and genetics. People argue about everything. You and your friends can't even agree what music and movies are good. Overall, people perceive things differently, and it's best just to accept your reality and to live your life like it matters. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of The Ratcast, and to hell with Georgia.